Here's a very interesting case of a man that just had a couple days of extreme pain in his knee. There was no injury. And basically on physical exam, he had a lot of tenderness at the insertion of the quad tendon. Ultrasound did demonstrate some calcification of the distal quad tendon. And I believe he, he was suffering from a gouty enthesitis of the quad tendon. In the past, I treated this patient for a gouty alacrinon bursitis. So here's our lower extremity. We can see our probe in a sagittal plane going from medial to lateral and back to a medial orientation. And now we're switching to an axial plane where we're trying to cover the entire quad tendon. And here we are rotating back to the sagittal plane, starting with lidocaine injection. We're uh, essentially just injecting just superficial to the quad tendon. And here is the beginning of the procedure of the needle tenotomy, where we're trying to fenestrate the tendon and break up some of that calcification in the distal quad tendon. And also it's good to look at the needle in a short access plane or an axial view to get a better sense of the medial lateral orientation of the needle. Here we are, we're injecting saline, again with the needle in long access or sagittal view relative to the body. And at the very end, we're doing a cortisone injection. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail, uh, seeing the pertinent anatomy. Here essentially is uh, the calcification within the rectus femoris tendon, which is somewhat translucent. And here we are, we're initially injecting some lidocaine, just superficial to it. And now we're beginning the uh, needle tenotomy, trying to break up some of that calcification within the distal tendon. And here we are, we're kind of zooming in on that calcific body. And now we're injecting some saline as well into and around this calcific spot. And you can see some of that calcium starting to get broken up perhaps at a very small level. And here we're injecting cortisone as the final part of the procedure. And here's our tendon. You can see it's somewhat red relative to the other tendons, consistent with some tendinosis and irritation. This is our patient, 80 year old male, here for severe pain in the left knee for a couple of days, no injury. X ray just shows minimal osteoarthritis medially. He's just very tender at the insertion of the quad tendon. That's really the main finding on physical exam. Besides that, uh, also difficult to flex and beyond about 50 degrees. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do an ultrasound. A quick ultrasound scan did show some fluid and I believe calcification at the uh, quadriceps insertion. You can see the quad tendon inserting on the patella, which is on the left, and you can see all this calcification in the distal quad tendon. And I believe it's a gouty type of enthesitis. He has a history, I believe, of gout. We aspirated his uh, alacronon. He had a gouty alacronon bursitis, and I believe this is. Something similar going on uh, probably in the pre patella bursa uh, slash insertion of the quad tendon perhaps. Um, so what I plan on doing is trying to break up that calcium with a needle, uh, injecting it with some saline and then injecting some cortisone around it. I'm going to use only about half what I normally use of cortisone given the fact that it's right on top of this quad tendon. Um, but again, we're not going to inject this quad tendon itself, we're just going to go superficial to it. So I don't think I have to worry too much about weakening this quad tendon but we'll still be cautious and use half the dose. And he is tender right at that calcification, so I believe that is his pain generator. Otherwise, the quad tendon itself looks pretty good. He does have some fluid in the knee joint, but I don't think... Actually, has a fair amount of fluid. Clip again. Here's the lateral superpatel palate. You can see a fair amount of fluid in the joint itself. We are short access now to the quad tendon or axial view, right side of the screen is lateral. We got his patella and then mm -hmm. you can see some of that calcification laterally. Mm -hmm. We have some posterior acoustic shadowing which you may confuse for fluid. It's just shadowing from the calcium. Mm -hmm. Again, I think it's really an enthesitis, a gouty enthesitis. Just injecting lidocaine superficial. again, just injecting more lidocaine right on top of it. Now 
we're just kind of going in and out of that calcium deposit. Now, part of when you mechanically break off these deposits, you make it easier for the body to resorb it, just increasing the surface area. That's why I'm doing this. Also may get a little bleeding here and stimulate some healing and hopefully in control. I'm going to do an axial view now. Better to do this part while he's kind of numb from the water came before you dilute it with saline. This is sterile drape, sterile gel, uh, and uh, sterile gauze. Here's some just saline, maybe just kind of again flush it out clip, maybe take some saline into it. to it and that's all that calcium. Doesn't need the calcium. My glove was sterile so it's okay to touch it over there. Just a little bit of cortisone. Just tell not to do too much walking or bending or squatting, you know. Why don't you come walk here? Let's see. Or you want to just... How does it feel? He was able to... I was able to bend him back to about 125 after the procedure before he was only about 50 or 55 degrees flexion. How do you feel? Feel better? How, how is it walking? Let me see him walk to the chair. Significant improvement. Feels a lot better? Yeah, I do. Okay. He feels alive. Okay, good. Okay, good. 